Hi everyone, welcome back to the vlog. Today's vlog, I don't know, I don't have a clue what it's going to be, but I just thought I'd start it now. One thing about me is I cannot sit in silence. I'm about to just put some moisturiser on. That's a lie, I've already put moisturiser on. So I'm not going to do that. I don't know why I completely forgot about that. It was a couple of hours ago, but I'm just literally putting my hair up. In this clip, I don't know how I'm gonna do it because it's not really looking. I just left it to dry naturally the other day, yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Actually, I diffused it, so it just never. It looks good for the first day, and then. After, do you know what I mean? Like, that doesn't look good. Today's week, I am just in work, going to the cinema on Wednesday. I don't know what we're going to see. My mum's just booked it. So, going to the cinema on Wednesday. I'm working more again. What's now? I'm just trying to save up as much as I can in the summer before I go back to uni. I am going away in September as well. So I need to save up a little bit of money for that. And I did want to go away again, but I just didn't think I want to have enough holidays and work because I didn't, I got half. Never mind, I got half the amount of holidays that I would normally get because I'm new, I'm guessing. And because I started like in May so I think if I would have started in January I would have got the full amount of holidays so it's just a bit stressful because I've only got nine days left and I'm like what am I going to do with them nine days? Well I'm planning on going to Exeter aren't I? In, I think it's going to be the end of August beginning of September but then that means that all my holidays are in September before I go back to uni, I wanted to have like one in like June. So I'm just about to go to Tesco and get some Greek yogurt and strawberries so I can have a little granola ball. I've had a smoothie, but I'm really, really fancy a little granola ball. And I'm going to make me for a parfait for tomorrow morning because I'm up early tomorrow. I've got to get to work early. And I also want to see if they have any pistachio chocolate, which I don't think they're going to have, but I really, really, really want to try that. The other chocolate with the break it and it's got like the crunchy pistachio in it. I'm debating making it, but I just can't justify it because you, you've got to buy the chocolate, you've got to buy the mould. You've got to buy the caf, canaf, kafna, I don't know how you say it. And the pistachio paste, which is quite expensive. And tahini, I'm just like... Yeah, I'm probably not gonna make it, but how we all found in Love Island? Oh my god, I am just Joey Essex needs to leave. Like he actually needs to leave. Like I don't mind Ronnie as much. I do understand the fact that like everyone is obsessed with him for some weird reason, even though like he's probably the worst one in there. Like I'm not saying he's ugly, but everyone else in there is gorgeous, you know what I mean? And he's like he's given like old man vibes. But anyway, Lift going up. Look how unreal and massive these strawberries are. They must be in season now because oh my god, these look unreal. And they were like one pound sixty, I think. The ones in Tesco were like two pounds seventy for the same amount. And I thought, wow, they look so nice in Tesco. But these are from Lidl, also very nice. So I've just made. Two of these little fruit parfaits. These are like absolutely the nicest things ever. I'm gonna have one now and then have one tomorrow morning for breakfast. Just finished work. Oh my god, I am roasting. And <clears throat> it's 11 o'clock, so I'm gonna go to Lidl and get myself some lunch because I woke up late this morning again, so I didn't have time to make lunch, which is great because I'm supposed to be saving but after today 
I'm not going to buy my lunch anymore because I need to save up a lot of money. This is what I ended up going for. Chicken and bacon sandwich and an ice latte. Look how much sugar is in this. 15, 13.3 grams or 15. I think it's 13.3. Just in a light latte macchiato. The one had 20 grams of sugar in. Just the normal latte macchiato. 20 grams of like that's a lot for a little drink but and it's what it is i also got this one i wanted the one with salad in but it had tomato in and i hate tomato and it was 10p more expensive and i was like i'm paying 10p more for something that i don't like but it would have been nice with it was chicken lettuce cucumber and tomato it would have been quite nice but oh well i'm gonna eat this now I'm gonna put the windows down because oh my god I'm absolutely roasting. I'm gonna eat this and then go to work. I've got a little visitor on the window. So I've actually been to Lock Lane today and I forgot to film everything. It's such lovely weather outside. And we went to Prespo's. I got smoked salmon on toast i'll enter the picture because that was the best no on a bagel that was the best smoked salmon and cream cheese i've ever had i think it was cream cheese it tasted like sour cream and onion chav it was amazing i got a nice coffee because obviously it's nice and sunny we went to the gelato place on that lane and i got a ferrero rocher gelato that was also unreal can't believe i've never tried the gelato from that lane before like top top tier gelato it had big chunks of ferrero and it was amazing i'll insert another picture here of the gelato because it was so good i'm so annoyed that i didn't vlog anything because it was so, so nice and we sat by like the waterfall thing like the water feature thing in sefton park and it was lovely this chocolate dairy milk and more oh my god it's unreal it is unreal when I first got it, I thought it said dairy milk s'more. How nice with the s'mores chocolate bar be? But it's still unreal. It's got nuts and caramel in it. And then like, what even is the bottom thing? Creamy toffee filling. Yeah, I think that's like the creamy toffee filling. Nuts, hazelnuts and a caramel layer. Absolutely divine. I don't use my normal like cleansers and stuff but I have brought my body shop cleansers to use them together so it's like the little set that I've been using it's the tea tree range so it's the cleanser toner and just the tea tree oil which you can just add this like into like your cleanser and into your toner but i've got it just to like put it on more targeted areas so like here on my chin and this little spot i'm just gonna get the cleanser oh that's a toner I'm just gonna get the cleanser i don't really use this much when i'm in the flat because quite strong to be honest I don't get it near your eyes because it'll burn so I don't know what I'm gonna use to get your mascara off today probably just any sensitive cleanser that I can find in my mum's but yeah Put that all in. I'm just gonna get one of these cloths and just like wipe it all off. All the excess cleanser. I think I'm gonna make myself some pasta for work tomorrow for my lunch really quickly. Just before I watch Love Island. I'm actually not gonna do my nails now because I haven't got time. 
because I've got to get up at 7 tomorrow for work. And then I'm just going to get some toner. I'm actually running really low on this toner. I need to grab another one. I haven't really had it that long, to be honest, but I use it every single day. So I need to grab another one. And I'm just going to wipe the toner all on my face. Lastly, the tea tree oil, which normally I use a cube like cotton bud, but we haven't got any, so I'm just gonna pop some on my finger and dab it onto my skin until like any blemishes, which to be honest is a lot, but I'll just do them like, like the really red ones quick skincare for when I'm staying out and I haven't got my hyaluronic acid and my niacinamide and my La Roche-Posay cleanser and everything like that. These are the products that I use. If you want to grab these then I'll try and leave a link somewhere whether it's in the comments in my... Oh I also I'm gonna go in with a cleanser in a second to get the mascara off my eyes because I'm gonna be very gentle with that but yeah I'll leave a link in the description Taste this iced coffee. Please don't be warm. Nice. I'm drink this while I'm driving to work. I do finish it before I get to work. I'm drinking iced coffee really quick, but I need to leave in three minutes. I don't know why, but that was absolutely stressful for no reason. <sighs> Ew, there's a fly in the car. And I'm having my lunch now, and then I've got to go back for four hours to do not make though, so that'll be more chill because I actually know what I'm doing there, whereas with that, I didn't have a clue what I was doing, it's the first time I've ever done it. A little bit stressful, and me, like, basically we do, like, surveys, so the company knows what we're doing type of thing, and the survey just was taken forever, and you had to type in every single thing, even if it was zero, you had to do zero, 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 zero. It was just a lot. But now I'm absolutely sweating, so I need to take this jumper off actually. So I can chill, eat my lunch, I've got a chicken pasta salad, so that'll be nice. And yeah, I just need a little minute to like recuperate because I was like about to cry my eyes out. And then I was like, why am I like this? Like, I need to calm down and I need to not get stressed. I'm, try I'm really trying to not get stressed at like random things and just like be positive in situations because it weren't stressful like it didn't have to be stressful I just felt like I was stressed because like I said in another vlog when I do something that I haven't done before I don't like not knowing what I'm doing so I don't like like I just feel like out of control that I feel like I could never be good at that when obviously practice makes perfect do you know what I mean but I just think that saying practice make perfect just doesn't comprehend in my head like I just don't I just feel like that's not the case I don't know why but I just feel like I'm never going to be good at it where like I am because obviously with nutmeg like I never knew how to do it when I first started and then now I've been here for a month and I'm getting better so practice does make perfect so let this be your sign that if you are doing something new or struggling with something try not to get too stressed and just remember that practice does make perfect and 
don't worry that you can't do it the first time or the second time or the third time because there'll be a time there'll be a point in time where you can do it and where you do feel comfortable with it and you know what you're doing and then so there's no point stressing about not knowing what you're doing because soon you probably will know what you're doing this is what i've got for me lunch it looks a bit dry because i did put my own in it yesterday but i was gonna put some cold sort in it this morning and I forgot because I was in a rush so I'm a little bit upset about that so it is going to be a bit dry but it's nice and healthy and at least I haven't bought anything because yeah. got these jeans they're from social tourist and they're like flares and they've got a like a big panel at the back of light denim unreal and these are nice as well these are just from collusion how unreal i've just made this it's just salmon avocado and rice I've just got a whole avocado on there because I'm gonna have one today and then one tomorrow. So I just thought we will have it all. I am watching Zoe's vlog. I absolutely love watching Zoe's. And I'll be vlog. I've watched Selfies this morning or yesterday, I wanna say. Now watching Zoe's, I love how light long hairs are and that's just the best. Today, I've just been sunbathing and I'm gonna edit three TikToks that I've made actually quite proud of myself for filming three TikToks today. I'm gonna edit them and then I'm gonna edit my YouTube video and watch Love Island and go to sleep. Which is gonna be a great day. I also went to the charity shop today and I haven't got clothes on me to show you but I got some hot pink linen trousers which I've wanted for ages. I'm so happy that I've got them. I'll, I'll show them in the next vlog probably. Uh, linen trousers were £2.50 and then I also got a oversized like linen striped blue and white shirt that was £3 from Dorothy Perkins which love it's just so cute and I'm so glad because I really wanted an oversized shirt and I really wanted a pair of linen hot pink trousers so that's going to be perfect for the summer and the sun like when it's hot and that nice and flowy and i also i think i've mentioned before i'm not buying any clothes now anymore or i'm going to try my hardest not to probably underwear and bikinis is the only thing i'm going to buy that's now obviously and um, but i only want to buy from like vintage or charity shops the charity shop that i actually bought them two things from was i think it's called the a world uk something like that it's the autism charity shop and i got that in belleville it was actually so good i don't know i've been in that charity shop before but i've never seen anything that good in it before so i'm really glad that i went into there and grabbed them i hope you all enjoyed this vlog this is probably going to be the end of it i'm probably not going to film anything else so i hope you all enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe if you're watching this and you're not subscribed definitely please subscribe and give it a thumbs up as well